I have had the Casio WSB1000 step tracker watch for a few months now and let me tell you everything about it. So uh, the good, the bad and the ugly basically. So let's start with some of the negatives about this watch because there really aren't that many of them. First actually when you check uh, this watch online uh, in pictures and in their website I think it looks actually better online than it looks in real life, especially in this blue. So yeah, I'm not particularly a huge fan of the design. Uh, the strap is nice, uh, just, uh, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, basically the case, yeah, I'm not a fan of it. I thought it would look better. Perhaps it would look in better in a different color. Anyway, next thing. Uh, so this watch has, has actually got a step count tracker, but there is one negative thing. So we can actually only see the step count uh, for the current day. So we can't actually see the history on the watch itself. Uh, by the way, this watch also has a phone app, so we can actually see the step count history for the past days, weeks and months. So that's absolutely great. But uh, what I really like about some of these Casio watches, which has step counter, that you could generally see as a step count history on the watch itself. For example, on this watch, if I simply press, I can see the date and how many steps I have covered for that day. So, but uh, yeah, on this watch, uh, yeah, you can't really do that and you can only see the step count history for like <laughs> the current day. So you can't even see for the yesterday. And really, yeah, you have to basically pick up your phone and go to your phone up and see that that's uh, one negative. Then also, while the step count tracker accuracy of this watch uh, is actually much better than on the older Casio step count tracker watches, these are absolutely terrible, they overcount like absolutely crazy. So basically, if you basically shake your hand, it thinks you are walking and they go absolutely crazy. So this is very, very inaccurate. Uh, still, uh, this watch uh, from my testing and when I compare basically to maybe like an Apple watch or a Samsung Galaxy watch, uh, I think it overcounts uh, by nearly like 20%. So again, it still gives some uh, false positives and basically it provides you uh, a bit more steps than you actually take. But I think uh, for the technology this watch has, uh, I think that's actually acceptable and again we really uh, yeah, you have to consider just uh, the technology level in this watch. So, because uh, for example, on like a Samsung watch or Apple watch, the battery lasts like uh, one day only on those watches. On this one, uh, it claims it can last for two years, but in reality, uh, it's around uh, maybe one year. Still absolutely insane. By the way, uh, again, when we check uh, the manual, basically, where we can see how long the battery lasts, I think this is one of the negatives again. So, uh, in the manual, it says it can last for approximately two years, but you can basically check the conditions. So, yeah, <laughs> you can see that it can't really last uh, two years, especially if you actually use the backlight. By the way, the backlight on this watch is insanely good. So yeah, that's another maybe a negative and thing you need to know that the battery life on this uh, probably will be around one year and that's from my experience with uh, other Casio watches uh, of similar uh, technology basically. And that's pretty much it. Other than that, I think this uh, watch is really good. Maybe we can nitpick further, we can find small nitpicks on this watch, but generally I think it's pretty okay. Maybe for example, uh, like uh, why would you need to see your current year here? I think it just clutters the watch face. Also, uh, I wish you could maybe see your current uh, step count uh, for the day on the main watch face. Otherwise, if you actually check your step count, uh, yeah, you, or, yeah, you can't really see your current date and day. So yeah, I think the step, step count uh, could be also moved on the front so you could easily see that. But really, uh, I'm just really nitpicking and that's not really a huge negative. Okay, so what are the positives of this watch? Well, pretty much 99% is absolutely 
spot on on this watch. So first, uh, the build quality of this watch is insanely good actually. So the strap, uh, obviously it's still a plastic strap, but it actually feels very very solid. So and you can easily wear this watch for a very very long time and it will look pretty much like brand new. So again, I have used it from. Uh, I haven't used it that much uh, over these past months, but maybe like I have had one month of decent usage on this watch and it still looks pretty much brand new. And yeah, I'm abusing my watch basically. Anyway, this buckle, for example, it just looks and feels like super, super solid. I mean, again, it's just plastic and just little things, but uh, again, it feels extremely solid. And yeah, that's what I really like about these Casio watches. Uh, they aren't obviously made from any premium materials, but they feel very, very durable and it should last a very long time. And also when you wear it on your wrist, it feels uh, really decent as well. And by the way, just look, uh, basically it's such a slim watch as well. So yeah, it's not bulky at all like other Casio watches. So actually to wear it, it's really great. Like this literally has to be uh, one of the thinnest uh, Casio watches. Well, maybe uh, they have like like five or ten dollar watches that are maybe even thinner. But as you can see, it's not huge, it's not bulky. But at the same time, you can even see that this uh, display glass uh, like is still resisted. So basically, it has a cover here. This like guardrails basically so you can't really scratch up with your main glass very easily and that's still very nice also uh, for example these uh, screws they are actually real screws and not some uh, plastic uh, stuff basically on like on some other watches so yeah it doesn't feel cheap or fake or stuff like that so yeah it actually feels very solid so again i'm not particularly uh, particular fan of the like design of it uh, but yeah i thought it would look a bit better but yeah that's just personal choice then also the screen quality is insanely nice on this watch so uh, at the moment casio actually has got like more than half of the watches with negative displays and they absolutely suck they're absolutely terrible you can't really see them indoors and they're absolute garbage however this one is like uh, one of the few uh, Casio watches uh, that has a step counter and which has got a positive display and that's absolutely awesome. Again, there aren't actually many uh, Casio watches with step counter with a positive display and these are so good. So it's very legible basically and yeah, you can see it in any condition. So absolutely perfect display. Also, the backlight on it is also insanely good. So yeah, it illuminates everything very well and yeah it's smooth basically so i think there's only one diode there yep only not sure but yeah as you can see it illuminates everything perfectly well oh also when we talk about the backlight there is one more negative but that's really on all casio watches basically uh, if you press this uh, backlight and press another button the backlight basically goes off and you can't see anything so why is Casio making this watch like that? I really have no idea. By the way, also, this is obviously a Bluetooth watch and it connects to your phone. And uh, as you can see, you can sync uh, time over Bluetooth. So yeah, uh, for this price, uh, do you know any other watches that can do that? Absolutely awesome. By the way, also we can find uh, my phone with this watch as well. So you simply have to press and hold this button. Uh, as you see, it will say find. Uh, I'm currently filming on this phone that, that I'm connected to, so I don't want to show you. But basically, uh, your phone will start to buzz, basically, if you press and hold this. So you have to hold like five, five seconds and then your phone will start going crazy. So absolutely insane feature. And then finally, it actually has got really good functions as well. And they aren't actually limited like on some other uh, Casio watches. For example, step counter, sorry, the stopwatch is like uh, really good. And also we do have uh, like uh, stopwatch recordings. So basically we can actually see uh, like our current times, like sorry, past times basically of the step counter and laps basically uh, for each individual uh, session. So it's actually quite a complicated system, but yeah, it's absolutely awesome. 
then it does have a very good timer so uh, it actually maybe one negative it uh, only goes up to uh, 59 minutes and 59 seconds basically uh, and oh, also another thing is you can actually cycle up in these menus and also down with this button on some uh, Casio watches actually uh, they do not have like this back uh, button so you can't really cycle down so that's absolutely retarded I think on this watch yeah timer is good and everything else is also good okay uh, it does have dual time as well so you can configure that as well if you want to uh, also it has got five alarms basically and again uh, to set alarm it's also very good uh, and it also does have this only chime as well so as you can see it's uh, jam-packed with features so and yeah uh, also the watch face isn't cluttered with like a bunch of random junk basically so it's all uh, like decent information there again maybe like uh, they could remove the year but like what's the point from that but other than that as you can see uh, on some other watches the watch faces are completely cluttered with bunch of uh, like text and useless stuff and yeah this is very clean and yeah only the information you need on it also obviously this is Casio and also it does have very decent uh, like water resistant as well so you can easily swim with this watch and you do not really have to worry about this thing so uh, and I particularly really like this side button I think it's very good quality and when you press it you get very very good feedback uh, these buttons well maybe are, they are a bit sharp I wish they actually included a similar type of button all over the watch then it would be absolutely awesome so overall can I actually suggest you this watch well absolutely yep this I think is like one of the best uh, Casio watches and again uh, my only really uh, real problem basically with this watch is that you can't really see the past day step counter data uh, on the watch itself so you have to pick up your phone yeah if you want to get away from your phone yeah you can't really do that with this watch if you want to see your past day uh, date and history so that's pretty much like one of the only negative things so the design either you love it or hate it maybe in a different color i would think it look would look better but yeah overall really decent watch and yeah for this price yeah i do not think there is uh, a better alternative on the market anyway good luck